Welcome back, everyone. I've got a quick one for you today. I'm going to take this image of a beautiful, albeit fake woman that I generated on Leonardo.ai and turn it into this dramatic black and white image. Let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2. Like I said, I started with this great image from Leonardo. But I don't care for the background, so I will grab my trusty selection brush tool and paint over this digital woman. This will be a pretty easy selection for me because I'm going to put her on a black background in just a second. So I don't care too much about the details as the background is already mostly black. I'll just make my selection by painting over her and then I'll click the refine button in the top toolbar. With the matte adjustment brush selected, I'll go over the top of her hair to see what fine details I can get. Then, I'll change to the background adjustment and use it to remove some of these areas from around her shoulders. Alright, that looks pretty good I think. I'll just change the output drop down to new layer and click apply to see how it looks. I'll select the new layer and I'll move her over to the left. What do you know, she's now a twin. I'll just turn that background layer off by selecting the little dot to the right of the layer. There, now you can see the selection. Definitely not perfect, but good enough for my purposes here today. Okay, next up, I'm going to add a fill layer by going to Layer in the menu and selecting New Fill Layer. I'll use the color wheel to turn the layer from white to black, and then I will drag the layer from the top to just below the woman cutout. All right. This already looks pretty nice, but I want her to be pure black and white. To do this, I'll click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select the HSL Adjustment. Then, I'll turn the Saturation slider all the way down to zero. Oops, let me drag the HSL Adjustment layer onto the Woman layer. There, that looks better. Okay, great. Now I'm going to add a little dramatic lighting. To do this, I'll click on the Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and scroll almost to the bottom to Lighting. Then, I'll drag on these nodes a bit to get the lighting I want. So far, so good, huh? The last thing I'm going to do here is go back to my Adjustments button and select Shadows and Highlights. I'll drop down my shadows to make them darker, and I'll bring up my highlights to make them a bit brighter. There. I think that looks pretty nice. I told you, this was a short one. Well, that's it for today. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, there's a link in the description to buy me a coffee. Not necessary, but always appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.